people welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot wave green I'm Shaheen in today's video we are going to look at silver market we are going to uh, see where exactly silver is heading and uh, with what will be the good entry points for silver so we are going to answer two basic important questions is is silver really going to make a tremendous amount of money that is going to go out probably to two hundred dollars three hundred dollar an ounce We'll try to answer that question and the second question is that what will be the good place to buy silver what will be the good price to buy silver first of all this historical chart is in front of you uh, this uh, chart was taken from macro trends uh, so if you want to go have a look uh, I, wa I do want to um, put it all forward that uh, I took this chart from them so if you want to have a look go ahead so this chart actually starts the data from back from 1915 all right so till 1955 1960 uh, 70 this is not pretty interesting it is pretty interesting if you count inflation but if you look at the recent price history then we have to, to seen two major price movements that is somewhere around probably 252 dollars and it went all the way up to 35 37 dollars uh, an ounce and this is uh, we are not uh, we are not uh, using inflation to figure out the price just the dollar price as it was over there so the point I want to make is that it went it made a deeper correction and then we started the next 10 12 14 years of price movement all right so if you look at the price movement we did uh, we were able to create a new high uh, somewhere around uh, 48 dollars 49 dollar per an upper ounce the important thing is that it does look uh, if you we start looking the present price action that the fall it does look that we seem to have created a bottom so we are going to look at this bottom and this price action we are going to analyze this price action what important uh, support and what important resistance lies on and uh, we are going to use GAN WD GAN angles and WD GAN grid to answer the important silver and uh, to important the important support and resistance angles for that I have uh, uh, right now MT5 open in front of, one in front of me this is a uh, uh, silver market and once again this whole drop is actually uh, this whole drop zoomed in alright so if you want to focus on that this is the drop I'm talking about starting from that top to this bottom and then we have some a bit of data covering from this uh, this bottom small bottom to upward so we're going to look at it so what I have done is that uh, assuming, just assuming, and this is a total out of uh, Elliott wave analysis and some other psychological uh, cycle uh, wave theory, we have seen that. Let's assume that we have actually created a bottom right over here, which is silver weekly bottom. So I wanted to, based on this bottom, I wanted to see that if we can create important support and important resistance line, then we want to see whether they actually hold or they do present some value or not so once I did is that I I created a 45 degree angle right from that top to the bottom right over here and then I created another 45 degree angle exactly from the same timeline so it's exactly the same timeline alright but it actually starts from the bottom right over here the price wise it starts from the bottom but the time wise it goes back in history and starts that and I have created this another angle in the opposite direction to the top so this creates a, uh, a big axe you can completely see here right over here right over here and then right over here and then I have contained this um, vertical line and this vertical line creating a complete square after I've done the square I have uh, drawn equal levels of time so 1 by 4 of the total time 2 by 4 that's half of the total time 75 percent of the total time and then 100 percent of the total time similarly if you can see I have drawn the eight levels of price so one two three four five six seven and eight levels so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about when I've drawn once I've drawn these angles I've decided to put different angles on and they are presenting very interesting um, picture to me I'm going to look at that picture but if you want to draw that picture these exactly the angles the same I have seen that they come out about 400 pips per month so the 45 degree angle comes at around 400 pips per month you can actually draw that angle in MT5 right now the important point right over here is that 
one major thing is that we are seeing some support good support from this angle right over here price did not go above the support area second this angle uh, got again hit right over here it gained dot or uh, hit right over here and then it provided the resistance the op opposite side provide provided the resistance of it and and then we look at the second angle we look at the second, second angle it came right over here and it did provide some resistance for the price when it was going up uh, and uh, so that's basically a support for price coming down and right now if you look at the next angle and it does provide some support right over here and then the important point is the same support actually becomes the uh, the resistance for downward pr price movement right over here the next angle we want to look at is right over here at this point so so far we have not seen any action on this price angle and so far we have not seen any price angle action on this angle as well but if you want to see the next angle that's very important and that's actually passes through the 50 percent so this actually prices to the 50 percent of the price movement and then actually see that when the prices when j did go up it provided the very important resistance so I'm thinking that maybe this angle and this angle that actually coming down would provide for some support. I'm pretty sure and I'm going to look at these uh, GAN angles and I'm going to show you uh, before I clear this mess is uh, that there is some quite a, a lot of value from these angles as well. So I'm thinking that when prices will come down on this level support probably around 12.5 percent and on this uh, diagonal angle that will be an a good point for prices to uh, to hold on and then there'll be a good buying opportunity as well for silver market let's get back to this price movement I want to make an, an imp another important point on this picture is that if you are aware of Elliott wave analysis then you can clearly see that this is wave 1 that's wave 2 this is wave 3 wave 4 and then we have huge wave 5 in silver so I want you to compare this price movement to this price movement as well right the point is because if this is wave one as compared to this one then you can imagine how high silver is going to be there is absolutely no doubt in my mind that silver is going to go high but before that it goes it goes and create higher high somewhere around maybe two hundred dollar an ounce plus a little more possible it could go run to five hundred dollar an ounce and there is no doubt about it all those uh, prices that people have been talking are going to come uh, and uh, they're going to be good expected value in silver there's no doubt about it the point is they were predicting all those values when silver was coming down all right and even now people are going crazy the thing is if, there, if you look at the price movement right from this bottom to top it does move inside in waves so it goes up and it comes down and it goes up and it comes down there's no point of buying at this price or at this price right now we can see that there's a clear resistance occurring at this area so we got to look at these angles uh, they are actually giving a good guide to us so we got to look at these angles once again if you don't want to actually follow and simply draw the angles by yourself you can go download MT5 MetaTrader 5 and then you can draw the monthly GAN angles right so once you do go there so what all you simply can do is uh, go to insert objects and then GAN and GAN fan right so let's draw that initially that would draw the and the angles on the upside so you gotta go right click it and you gotta make sure that the downward trend is checked alright and it's four hundred dollar pips per bar so you have to don't have to draw it on the weekly actually draw on the monthly chart so first shift back to the monthly chart then see 400 pips and a downward trend that will actually reproduce the result that we have here on screen and then you'll be able to see those angles and follow them in the future I hope that uh, so far I was able to make sense before we go on and end the video I want to zoom in this price movement and see if we have actually an important value in there or not so and I, to do that I'll have to bring these angles back right over here so we can actually look into that area without any without a lot of mass and we can uh, we definitely have to do delete this uh, percentage mm. 
all right this is deleted now we can bring that back to right over here somewhere over here just a minute more and then we'll be ready to talk about it we can adjust those angles in the future again as well so let's have a look on the daily chart I'm talking about this price movement starting from this bottom to this top right over here in that case we uh, go to I think this is $100 on the daily let me have a look and see what angle is this all right so important thing is that this was drawn on the daily time frame and the parameters that we have used is 100 pips per bar and it's a downward trend so you want to re reproduce the results you can do so by clicking that and I want to discuss this the reason is uh, I want to see whether the uh, price and resistance is also following this price movement as well this is quite significant price movement so I want to see that when prices start falling down do we get some clues or not in one of my previous videos I already discussed that on my channel here is that if you look at the price fall and uh, if you use give me a moment I need to produce the percentage sign uh, right over here so we can actually look at the percentages as well that's like this and uh, so we got to first of all look at that this price movement is somewhere around 87.5 or you know uh, 87.5 of 100 percent we are already feeling the support right over here we also need to look at the initial drop as well and see if we are finding some important support levels over here uh, stay with me and I'll discuss the angles as well I want to look at this basically a correction whether it is a correction or impulsive force or what so when the price is actually dropped we can first of all see that the first reaction that we have seen before the final drop actually happened was by at 7 by 8 or 87.5 percent and then when prices started going up and the correction we had a clear resistance for the prices at 50 percent we got uh, another smaller support at 25 percent and then we have seen a resistance at 75 percent of the drop right over here if you look at the uh, daily bounce here this price movement is uh, this angle is very important we can see that the prices this provided the support the same angle which actually provided the support for downward price movement when prices started going up it also provided support for prices going up as well and when price fell fall back as well we are seeing that this is also once again providing support as well for the providing resistance for the downward price movement prices have so far jumped up but once again if you look at the angle this is also providing support for the downward price movement so as per our larger analysis of the angles actually say that we have met a major resistance right over here uh, from the angles that are actually coming right from the top from this price movement we can see that the heavy is right now meeting a major resistance so I'm expecting the prices will fall further down we can extend these lines and then I believe that we'll have a better buying opportunity for silver right one over here again so wish you good luck if you are trading silver and if you are a bullion enthusiast then wish you good luck too but I personally believe that we'll have a better time buying in over here see you guys soon have a good one and bye bye